Well, it won't be the first time the insurance companies tell us their troubles. They do hate to pay. Now, I can't overlook the fact, Sir James, that in the last year, £200,000 have been paid out on life insurance policies by this company. Mm -hmm. That's a large figure. There's been a whole series of fatal accidents, each victim heavily insured. Please, sir, will you have a look at this? Yes. I have prepared a list of the victims for every accident. Did you find a suggestion in the official statements that any of the deaths might not be accidental? Frankly, no, but... Now listen to me, Inspector Dawson. Scotland Yard right at the moment has more than enough crimes to solve. Mrs. Irvin? You know me? I can't remember having ever met you before. Clear away the glasses in the bridge salon. I knew your husband for years. May I offer you my sincerest Francis? condolences? Excuse me. I think that you're responsible for taking every penny my husband had. I think you're a bunch of crooked thieves. I will overlook your accusations. We are a licensed bridge club with a membership limited to 55. Only the best people are admitted here. Oh, yes, I believe you. Those people with enough money to make it worth your while. You get the names of wealthy men who like to gamble and then you cheat them blind. I can prove that while my husband was a member here, he lost as much as £7,000 or more. I want to see your boss. So here is the list. Thank you. You're welcome. You probably did not know that the care and rehabilitation of criminals and ex-criminals is one of the special duties of our order. Our dear Father Riley has been working for us for more than 20 years, and he has had some wonderful successes, but also some very bitter disappointments. I'm glad to see that you're getting along in your work so well, my dear. God bless you. Hello? You're new here. I didn't hear you knock. <sighs> There's a good reason. I didn't talk. Who are you? I'm Joe Phillips. But they call me Kitty because I'm such a nice boy. You can call me Kitty. That's exactly what I had in mind. But I need your help, if you're willing. You need cash? Cash, cash. It isn't money matters I'm worried about right now. No. I need good advice and sympathy from an understanding young woman. Please don't try your flattery on me, Mr. Hubbard. There may be women who fall for your line, but uh, I'm afraid I'm not the type you're looking for. I don't have a fortune and I only make 12 pounds a week. <laughs> In that case, I will have to change my job by all means in favor of women with no money, okay? I think that will be my first step on the road to recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come and sit down, please? 